This video is brought to you by Airmaster Systems. Welcome to the fume hood installation video. You have now received your fume hood. Remove it from the truck and inspect it for any damage. Next, you are going to move the fume hood to the storage area or room that is going to be placed. Be sure to leave the fume hood on the skid until instructed to take it off. We recommend placing the fume hood as close to the desired final destination as possible to create minimal amount of lifting. When you first receive your fume hood, you will notice that it is in robust packaging. You're going to remove all the cellophane as well as the blankets to the undercoating layer of protective barriers. You're going to have to remove all of these edges. The first step in the process is to remove the airfoil. The airfoil is attached by screws that are tapped into the top edges of the side panels. Place the airfoil off to the side and now begin to remove the side panels. These are also attached by screws that are on the top edges. There should be two screws located on each panel. With the screws out of the panels, it is easily removed by lifting up on the panel and pulling outwards. Move the anchor screws out of the sides of the fume hood as well as out of the back side edge of the fume hood. These are going to be holding the fume hood down to the crate. You can remove these with just a Phillips screwdriver. Next, remove the wood blocks that are holding the sash weights in place for transport. You're going to be repeating this step on the opposite side of the hood. While the fume hood is still located on the crate on the floor, run the sash up and down several times. The sash should move up and down effortlessly. The sash should also be level from side to side and not go up at any sort of an angle. All sashes are inspected and leveled before they leave the factory. It is still important to inspect the sash after shipping just to make sure that nothing has shifted. To do so, align the sash with the frame on the inside. As you can see here, both sides are level to the frame and flush, which means the sash is still in great condition. If for some reason your sash does not come flush and you need to make an adjustment, you will have to remove the screws on the front panel and remove the front panel. Once the panel is removed, you're going to notice that there is a chain guard above the chain. This helps keep the chain from skipping off of the sprocket when it goes up and down. As you can see here, it is protecting the chain in place. Adjustments can easily be made by using an Allen wrench to loosen the bolt on the sprocket. With the Allen screw now loose, you would be able to make the appropriate adjustments with the sprocket and the chain linkage as need be. This would be variable depending on the hood. Once the necessary adjustments have been completed, you may now tighten the Allen screw back in. Also be sure to tighten down the screws again on the front panel of the hood. As you can see here, we have placed two cardboard sheets down onto the countertop. These are gonna help us with sliding the hood back and also without damaging the top of the countertop. Now you're going to lift the hood onto the countertop and place it into position. Be careful when doing this and take your time sliding the hood back. Try to do this as evenly as possible. As you can see here with the cardboard, it helped us slide the hood back but also protected the counter from damage. With the hood on the countertop, check the sash one more time just to be sure that lifting and moving it didn't adjust anything. Everything should still be in good position. Remove the cardboard guide, have one person apply slight upward pressure and the other person pull out the cardboard. Next, let's go ahead and place the airfoil onto the fume hood. This is going to help us with our alignment as well. Notice the pre-tapped holes on the airfoil. Use these to attach them to the underside of the hood. Line these holes up and drill your screws into the hood. Make sure that you put all of them in the correct position. You will now easily repeat this process on the opposite side. Everything should align very nicely. As you can see with this airfoil attached correctly, everything aligns perfectly. A 60 inch hood should measure 60 inches from edge to edge. Let's put the side panels back on. Raise them up high and slide them downward until they are in the locking position. You're going to repeat this step on both sides. Take the screws provided and go ahead and put them back into position on the panels. Take a flat screwdriver and open the access panels on the interior of the fume hood. You will need this open to attach the fume hood to the countertop. Now slide the hood back into position. Once it is correctly placed, you will notice that the airfoil will line up perfectly with the slots cut out in the countertop. Checking first that the fume hood is perfectly centered and aligned with the countertop, we are now going to attach it. This can be done in multiple ways. In this video, we are showing it through the top side of the countertop. There are also special clips that can go to the underside of the airfoil to attach it as well. Now that the fume hood is set into position, we can remove the front panel so that the transport protective guards can be removed. These are there so the panels do not scratch your fume hood posts in transport. Now place the front panel back on the hood and screw it down one last time. 
After you finish securing the front panel, you will now check the hood's functionality one more time. Everything should function and flow smoothly. You are now ready for MEP. Thank you for watching this fume hood instructional video. If you have any questions still, please reach out to us at 231-798-1111. And from everybody at AMS, we thank you for your business.